Today I'm going to throw a simple porcelain tray. I'm just wedging up my clay to get started. I've made hundreds of these over time and I have a few tricks up my sleeve in the making. The two things that have remained constant over the years are this beautiful local porcelain and the pale blue glaze I use for the interior. A little more on the glaze later. So let's get started. I'm using 1.5 kilos of porcelain. That will result in a tray of about 25 centimeters when finished. This is a very simple shape to throw. So I'm just centering my porcelain. Oh, and I should point out that I'm throwing on a bat. A bat is a circular plate that fits onto the wheel head. A pottery wheel bat. So now that I've centered my clay, I'm just going to push the clay out to a large disc. So now I find the center and push down. Judge carefully. You have to leave quite a bit of clay in the base. When it comes to wiring through the base, there's quite a high chance of the wire riding up. So leave a bit of extra clay. So I'm just opening out gently and in a few passes. I'm just leaving a little clay in the edge to pull up into the walls. I love making these trays. It's such a slow and gentle process. I'm just smoothing and compressing the base. So when I say I'm compressing, I'm going from the inside out and the outside in and just gently pressing with a sponge or a rib. This prevents S cracks. So now I'm bringing up the walls. I'm just bringing up some of the clay that's sitting at the outer base. And I'm remembering to compress the rim with a sponge. I'm just tidying up the surfaces with a sponge. I want to get this tray finished really well. And now I'm compressing the base again with a flexible throwing rib. I really don't want the base to crack when firing this tray. So I just compress the base slowly, back and forth. And I use a sponge to smooth out the surface. I'm using a throwing rib to straighten the sides. I'm just holding it against the outer wall and gently pressing from the inside. Now I'm just tidying the pot I'm using a chamois on the rim to give it a nice rounded edge. Because only the inside of these are glazed, it's important to get the finish just right. So I always leave the outer wall of the tray raw porcelain so unglazed. I'd like to talk a little about bats here. My bats are MDF with a melamine veneer. My wheel head has two pins and the bats I use have two holes. Another way of fixing a bat to a wheel head is to throw a pad of clay large enough for the bat and then press the bat down onto this pad of clay. An even simpler way is to use a wet chamois Press the bat firmly down on the chamois to fix. Now let's get this finished. Use the arrowhead tool to trim a little round the base. This helps when wiring through your pot. Now wire under the tray. Even though I'm throwing on a bat, it's important to wire through your tray at this point. You want it to be able to shrink easily. So back to bats, 
This is why bats are so useful when you're making trays. Now let the tray dry. When the rim is dry enough to support the pot, you can actually flip the tray onto the rim. And now we're ready to trim. I'm using a Giffen grip to trim, but you could just center the pot and use three clay lugs to hold the pot onto the wheel head. A Giffen grip just saves time. So as you can see, I've trimmed a little off the outer edge just to tidy it up. And then I start in the middle and work to the outer edge. Do this a number of times. So I'm not trimming a foot ring on these trays. They're very simple, as I said. We just want a bit of a concave base so that it sits really well on a table. Once I've trimmed away enough clay, I compress a little with a rib to smooth. Because porcelain is so smooth, when you compress, you get a lovely finish. It's such a pleasure to work with porcelain. So then the tray dries, goes through the first bisque firing and is then glazed with a duck egg blue glaze. And here's one of my trays featured in the Donna Hay magazine many years ago when her lovely store stocked them. There's something very quiet about these simple trays. As always, thanks for watching and like and comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. It's much appreciated.